that's uh sure whether the wind is going to be causing all sorts of problems soon. Anyway, here we are on Lake Geneva. And we stay the night in this bass and it's absolutely lovely. A little bit cold at times, but uh, really comfortable with the lilac and the duvet on it. Had a little guitar shop, played some songs and things like that. This camping site is really basically a caravan site. And what I think seems to be the case is that you hire a caravan and sleep in the caravan and people park their cars elsewhere. But we arrived here yesterday at about uh, six o'clock in the evening and said, is it okay if we just stop this pasta? And he said yes, charges us effectively about three pounds. But it's been great, really lovely. Right on the shore of Lake Geneva. When we were coming through to Geneva, we came through the mountain ranges, very small mountain ranges. There's hardly any snow apart from on the top. But you can see a little bit of snow on the top of these mountains, but they're quite a lot lower than the mountains we're going to. So we are hoping that it'll still be snowy when we get up to the top, to Saint-Gervais. Had a beautiful meal last night in an incredibly lovely restaurant, which was a really very reasonable. I was expecting the Switzerland prices to be incredibly high, but they weren't. White water on the lake. Can you believe it? Okay. It's a bit windy for, for filming, really. Mm. Probably best not to um, go any further forward.
is blowing Heat and blue sky And a road that goes forever Thinking about it lately Been watching some TV Been looking all around me what has come to be Been talking to my neighbor And he agrees with me It's all gone crazy Well, my Yeah, Texas Here we are on the 8th of April 1991 and guess where we are? We're in Saint-Germain. All raring to go. That's the American store. So the American store is not open today. Cafe down this three where we've had our cup of coffee. Absolutely beautiful. The sun is incredibly hot today. And the credit and Astrial, a commercial, also closed. As I go around, you can see that we're basically one end of the market square. No market going on today. There's a sign that says that the market is open on certain days of the week at certain times of the year, but not at the moment. Top of the espace, I'll move around it. A few people walking around. What does that remind you of? Okay, I'm going to do a panoramic swing all the way around the square. Not too fast, I hope. As you can see, all the various aspects of Saint-Germain, as it was and as it is today. Coming up to the post office. Was the post office there? I've absolutely no idea. I'm supposed to remember everything, but I remember absolutely nothing. I could be in a completely strange town. I am in a completely strange town. 
Okay, having done the post office, coming round again, back to the pièce de résistance in this square has to be the McDonald's hamburger bar. Yes, McDonald's are even got into Saint-Germain. Okay, we've now done a full circle. We've got a map. We're told that Chat Village is up this way. So we're going to go straight up where that lorry is coming now and see what we can find. Here we are again, looking at a wall. You may wonder why we're looking at a wall. Well, as I move round, we're looking straight into the entrance to the flats we lived in, 7A. And if you remember, we lived in 7A 3G. Okay, we, Susan and I just walked up the staircase up to the flat itself, but there was no one in. We weren't sure whether we wanted to go in anyway. Okay, as the wall goes round, here is the car park. And the square is probably more or less as it was. Over there is number five, where the sellers used to live. Straight down there. Doesn't look like you can drive the car up anymore, but I do remember the car coming up here on this drive. Okay, end of the flats, the little island. I remember this big conker tree. Great big conker tree. Let's go to get your conkers there. So go along here. Okay, there's a step leading down. And in the distance, the baseball pitch, the baseball square. Over this side, the veranda here, the railings. Into the veranda of one of the flats. I'm sure this is probably the same as ours. It would have been a 7A 1G. 7A0G probably. Anyway, yeah. without wishing to be too nosy, the shutters are down. There's a nice dog coming by. The end here. Okay. We're going to go for a little walk further on now. Give you a few more minutes to look. Peach tree. I wonder whether that was there in the 60s. Rhododendron. Could have been. Yes, it was. What? It's not a rhododendron. It's not a rhododendron. Well, it looks like a rhododendron. Okay. I'm going to go up at the flats going down. You can't quite see the angles too bad at the moment. I'll come back down in a minute and try again. Sue, can you bring the bag for me? Thank you. There's Susan. She doesn't realise I'm catching her. She thought I was here to do something else, but I was. Okay, there is the flats in all of their entirety. 7A3G at the top. Just going along to see the complete block. As you can see. You can tell there's no English in there. Loads of conkers are loads of them. Loads of conkers? Okay, here we are again. Down at the side of the house. The flats. Volantisseur means there's a thing to slow you down, a ruddy great hump. Okay, I'm going to swing around and you can see up to the chateau. There's the chateau. Car going up its way to it. We'll go up to the chateau in a minute or two. I'd like to walk up that way anyway. This is the car park for the other block of flats. And here we are at the exit. So, sortie interdite maintenant. Presumably, I don't know whether that was not like that then. Anyway, quite an interesting shot, isn't it? 
Okay, well we're going to swing all the way around and we're going to walk up the hill back towards the chateau where we parked the car. Somebody driving by, coming my way. And there's the gateway between 5A into our own block where our apartment was. It's at the end of the school day, I used to walk down this path. No doubt David did the same. And then, okay, I'm going to sweep round again, just looking at the back of the flats. In the corner there is the entrance to 7A 3G. Of course it's not open right now. Beautiful, beautiful pine tree. Must have been there for a long, long time. And then these are the other block of flats. Number eight and number nine, or number eight anyway. Yes, number nine coming up now. Cars just hit Susan. She's bearing up quite well. Okay, we'll stop for again. Okay. And here we have the chateau. Still going strong as a school. We parked up there, we're probably not allowed to, but we did. Okay. Isn't it lovely? Sweeping round again. Back down. The view. To the flats. Wonderful. Someone's pair of trousers. In the grounds of, in the grounds of the chateau. This is where the famous roller skating used to take place. Seems to be some kind of a great big chimney attached to the chateau, which I don't remember being there. And the fire escape. There you are. Some children seeing that we're looking at it, even even making fools of themselves. Hello. Bye bye, children. <laughs> Do they realise that we're on film? Okay, and the car park in towards our own little house. Our own little car. I'm walking now, in case you hadn't gathered. Here we have the chateau from the other side. We've walked all the way round the grounds now. Isn't this a beautiful chateau? Yep, as far as I know, there was always a school while I was there, put it that way. May not have been a school when it was built, 